Yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Desmond Ofer, and today I'm here to present on the topic of uh, ethics and computer simulations. Now, this is the outline for my um, paper, my presentation. I'm going to go through this: the introduction, uh, the motivation, the objectives. Then we go to the history. Then we discuss the ethical issues and the possible solutions and the conclusion from there on. So for the introduction, uh, computer simulations are widely used in science and engineering uh, to model complex systems and phenomena. So as computer simulations become more sophisticated and widespread, uh, there, there's been a lot of chatter around ethical considerations in this regard. So uh, what somebody asked, what is computer ethics? Uh, this is basically a branch of applied ethics uh, focused on issues raised by computers. Now, ethical considerations can ensure that uh, computer simulations are used in a responsive, uh, are used responsibly, are used responsibly. So, ethical consider considerations can ensure that uh, computer simulations are used responsibly and for the betterment of society. So, uh, let's discuss our motivation. Why this paper? Now, we know that computer simulations have the potential to significantly to significantly impact decision-making processes and outcomes. Also, however, we also know that there is also the potential for negative consequences such as biasness, inaccuracy results, uh, privacy concerns, and unintended consequences. Therefore, it is important to consider these ethical principles and values when designing and using computer simulations to ensure that they are used in a responsible and ethical manner, hence the motivation for our presentation. So the goals or uh, objectives of this paper uh, are in twofold. So first of all, uh, this paper aims to examine the ethical concerns and implications of computer simulations and then uh, also provide possible solutions to issues of computer simulations. So before we go on, let's uh, now let's talk about some notable contributions to computer simulation ethics history over the years. Uh, so we go back to the 1940s. In the 1940s, uh, one of the early example was by was the work of Norbert Wiener, who was a mathematician and a philosopher who developed the field of cybernetics in the 1940s. Wiener was concerned about the potential for automated systems to be used in ways that were harmful to society, and he advocated for ethical principles to guide the development of these systems, and he was one of the first to raise these concerns. Now, we, in the 1970s and 1980s, uh, computer simulations began to be used more widely in scientific research. And then uh, this led to concerns about the ethical implications of this technology. And also one, one notable example in that time uh, was the controversy over the club of Rome's limits to growth report, which used computer simulations to model the impact of population growth and resource depletion on global sustainability. The critics to this paper argue that the simulations based, the simulations used in this were based on flawed assumptions and could be used for to justify harmful policies. And this uh, generated a lot of uh, critics and a lot of concerns about uh, computer simulation ethics. Um, recently, in the 1990s and 2000s, uh, computer simulations became even more sophisticated and widespread. A lot of scholars began to develop more systematic approaches to ethical decision-making in simulation-based research and decision-making. And one notable thing that happened during this time, which also raised, uh, made computer simulation ethics very important, uh, was that in the, of the 2008 financial crisis, uh, which was in part caused by the misuse of complex financial models and simulations. So now uh, we go on to discuss uh, some of the ethical issues related to computer simulations. So uh, the first of all, here we discuss the uh, related to co computer simulations. So the first we'll talk about is privacy concerns. Now computer simulations can pose significant risks to privacy and confidentiality due to the vast amounts of personal data that they can collect and store which may include sensitive information about individuals. This data, if not handled appropriately 
and kept secure on being free on the privacy of those involved. So some of the privacy concerns that may arise in the context of computer simulations are as follows. So the risk of re-identification of anonymized data, the potential for data breaches or not unauthorized access, and the use of personal data for purposes that are not disclosed to the individual's consent. The next ethical issue uh, we discuss is bias and discrimination. There is a possibility for, misrepresent for misrepresentations and biases in the simulation results. This can lead to wrong decision making and erroneous allocation of resources, which ultimately can have negative consequences for individuals and society as a whole. For example, if the data used to build a simulation model is based on a bias or is biased or discriminatory, then the simulation will be biased as well. This can have real-world consequences such as perpetuation, perpetuating discrimination against certain groups of people, which is really unfair. The next ethical issue we discuss is in relation to accuracy and reliability. Computer simulations are models, I used to model real world example, and as such, uh, they are subject to limitations and errors as well. It is important to ensure that simulations are accurate and reliable. Many stakeholders argue that uh, the claims about the reliability and accuracy of simulation models can create a false sense of legitimacy and authority, which can lead to morally problematic issues, problematic uses of simulation. For example, let's take this example. If a simulation is used to make decisions about resource allocation or policy development, but the model is based on incomplete or falsified data, then the decisions made based on the simulation could have negative consequences. So that's one of the things to look out for. Next, uh, we talk about and uh, we discuss is transparency. To ensure transparency in com computer simulations, uh, the assumptions and methods used to create the simulation should be made clear and accessible to all stakeholders, especially users. It is important to be transparent about the use and results of computer simulations, especially when they are used to make decisions that affect a large group of people. This can help to build trust and show that the simulations are used in a responsible and ethical manner. So uh, one, uh, one current issue uh, related to this is the current uh, ChatGPT 4.0 which was re released, but then the owners of it decided not to release more information about uh, how ChatGPT 4.2 makes uh, guess its information goes about. And this are things uh, that we uh, hold transparency back and may cause mistrust. Okay, so the next ethical issue we, go we discuss is responsibility and accountability. It is important to establish clear lines of responsibility and accountability. For this can be challenges as simulations are often complex and difficult to understand, making it difficult to determine who is responsible when something goes wrong. Right. The next one we discuss is in relation to ownership and control. Computer simulations are often proprietary, uh, which makes uh, the owner is difficult. Uh, do not uh, who take control do not really want to release more information to people. And this can raise questions when simulations are used to make decisions. So next, uh, we discuss some possible solutions uh, to some of the ethical issues uh, we raised above. So first and foremost is that there should be responsible conduct of research. Uh, the responsible conduct of research uh, involves the following. In computer simulation, it involves the following. Uh, includes the following. So making ethical considerations uh, part of the evaluation criteria uh, for simulation models, ensuring the validity and reliability of the simulation, being transparent about the limitations and uncertainties of the simulation, avoiding the misuse of the simulation to support unjust policies or decisions, uh, researchers must also be aware of the social and ethical implications for their work and take steps to ensure that their simulations are used in ways that align with ethical values and principles. Uh, the next, uh, another way uh, is through the use of ethical codes and professional responsibility. 
So uh, we have to, uh, there should be a development of ethical codes and guidelines uh, by professional. Uh, there should be ethical, there should be the development of ethical codes or guidelines and professional responsibility by various bodies in computer simulation in the following regards. The first has to do with privacy concerns. Uh, they should develop, there should be the development and implementation of ethical guidelines for the use of personal data in com computer simulations. These guidelines should specify the types of data that can be collected, how the data can be used, who can access the data, and how the data will be protected. Measures should be taken to ensure that this data is handled appropriately and kept secure to protect the privacy of those involved. The next one has to do uh, with accountability. Another aspect of professional responsibility is the need for accountability. Professionals have a responsibility to be accountable for the results of their simulations, both to their colleagues and to the broader public. Researchers need to consider the broader societal implications of their work, including issues of societal justice, social justice, equity, and environmental sustainability. Researchers have a responsibility to ensure that their simulations are used in ways that benefit society as a whole and do not perpetuate existing inequalities. The next has to do with the issue of transparency. This is another aspect of professional responsibility, uh, which is transparency that, uh, that should be adhered to. Prof professionals should do their best as possible to provide clarity of assumptions and limitations on the data and methods used. This transparency can help prevent misunderstandings and misuse of the simulation results. The next one is that most authors uh, also highlight the importance of continuous education and professional development in the use of computer simulations by are staying informed by encouraging their uh, their members to stay informed and up to date on the latest developments in the field, uh, including advances in simulation methods and changes in ethical and legal frameworks, so as to ensure computer simulation ethics is not violated. So in conclusion, these are some of the uh, conclusion points, my conclusion points from my paper. Uh, computer simulations uh, poses a variety of ethical issues that need to be addressed. Ethical issues surrounding computer simulations are complex uh, and multifaceted with no simple solution to address them. There's no straight way to say this is the way to do it and everything is okay. They are complex and everyone, uh, we need various ways to approach them, to solve them. However, from my research, these are some of the guiding principles that can help in navigating uh, this. So, uh, professional bodies develop ethical, uh, develop, must develop ethical guidelines and standards to govern their use, uh, fostering collaboration and dialogue among stakeholders, promoting transparency and accountability in the use of computer simulations, and uh, acknowledging the limitations and asceticism of simulation models and informing users of it. Overall, it is important to approach computer simulations with caution and to be aware of the ethical issues that they raise. Simulations should be used in a responsible manner uh, to minimize the potential for harm and that should be always the number one goal, to try to minimize the potential harm from their, from, the, from their use as much as possible. Uh, these are the references uh, from which I gathered my information for this paper. Uh, please feel free to check them out. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.